How's it going YouTube? My name is Ari and welcome to Blue Lion Finance, a channel dedicated to investing in my personal journey to amassing $100,000 within my Vanguard brokerage account. And my account's currently sitting at $82,030.60 that is actually down by $1,509.45 since my last video just this past Monday. Now we've been off to quite a shaky start to the week considering the fact that all investors have their eyes on the Federal Reserve and what exactly Jerome Powell is about to come out and announce today, most of which are thinking that he will share that that rate of tapering is gonna be accelerated all eyes have been on inflation and rightfully so at an inflationary rate currently sitting at 6.8 percent no god no god please no 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 we have not seen an inflationary surge like this since 19 82 so certainly it is filling the market with a ton of fear and uncertainty that's creating our volatility but ultimately the opportunity is now to buy these stocks on sale which is exactly what i want to get into in today's video and talking about five high quality dividend stocks that you can get invested into and honestly i find them to be all on a nice little holiday sale so happy holidays to us all most importantly before we dive in go ahead tap on that thumbs up button as it greatly helps me out in growing the blue line finance channel and moreover if you haven't already subscribed go ahead tap on that subscribe button while you're at it i'd certainly love to have you on this journey with me now youtube let's go ahead and dive right in Now, there's no better time to talk about holiday deals and holiday steals than right now because while the market is in a bit of mayhem what we can actually do as long-term investors is simply stay the course in buying stocks while they're on sale so that all leads me to the very first company i want to talk about which is cincinnati financial corporation ticker symbol cinf Cincinnati Financial is an insurance company that focuses on casualty and property insurance. They were founded back in 1950 and have since then done an outstanding job in leading the charge within the insurance industry. Now, most importantly, in terms of all of this volatility, I personally feel it's important for us to get invested into conservative plays that are gonna deliver through on not only long-term value, but of course, dividend returns all along the way. That is exactly what Cincinnati Financial Corporation has been doing. They've been paying dividends out for 61 consecutive years, increasing those dividends year over year, making them a dividend king, a rock star of a dividend player. Now, most importantly, their dividend yield is currently sitting at 2.2%. And in terms of their stock share price, they recently fell from around $126 down to around $115, creating about a 9.5% holiday deal. Now, analysts only project recovery in Cincinnati Financial Corporation's future, rising right past those market highs of theirs as of six months ago to a median share price of $130 and a high stock share price of $151, ultimately making for Cincinnati Financial Corporation to make its way onto the list as a conservative, reliable dividend investment. Moving right along to stock number two, we have Cisco, ticker symbol SYY. Cisco is an American multinational corporation which is involved in the distribution and marketing of food products, small wares, and kitchen equipment for restaurants, healthcare, and educational facilities ultimately being founded back in 1969 they've done an outstanding job in terms of scaling not only making them essentially untouchable to the rest of the competition but most importantly for the times that we're living in essentially unscathed by the supply chain disruption now in recent news and of course with the onset of COVID-19 back in March of 2020 Cisco has not fared very well just as many companies across the board but just given the industry that Cisco lies in I mean it has just taken a beating throughout 2020 and more recently with the new variant it has of course also taken a hit dropping from $83 a share down to $73 per share which is about a 15% holiday deal now for us all now in the best possible news analysts only foresee cisco recovering to a median stock share price of 92 dollars per share and a high stock share price of 97 dollars per share so of course we can ride that little wave of recovery and most importantly when it comes to cisco's dividend is the fact that they've been paying those dividends out for 41 consecutive years increasing them year over year making it a dividend aristocrat with the current dividend yield at 2.55 percent certainly placing cisco on our holiday wish list next up we have Emerson Electric, ticker symbol EMR. It's an American Fortune 500 company that manufactures electrical components and products as well as delivers through on engineering
engineering services for the consumer, industrial, and commercial segments. Most importantly in understanding what Emerson Electric is all about is the very fact that they were founded back in 1890 and have just done an outstanding job in leading their industry. They're not gonna be disappearing anytime soon. And in the most recent news throughout 2021, they have been aggressively acquiring multiple companies, two of which are Progeo Group and Open Systems International, dealing with automation and software and ultimately should help Emerson Electric reach that next level of growth. Now, Emerson Electric was certainly not unscathed by the supply chain disruption. We can see that showing through in their stock share price as it dipped from 105 to around $91 per share. That's about a 15% dip. However, based on all these acquisitions and forward thinking here, analysts are only projecting Emerson Electric to continue to grow. Coming in at a median stock share price of $107.50 and a high stock share price of $125. Now in terms of Emerson Electric's dividend, we're talking about a dividend king with 59 consecutive years worth of dividend payments and increases and a current dividend yield sitting at 2.22%, making Emerson Electric another flawless investment for a dividend portfolio. Coming up on our fourth dividend stock opportunity, we have T. Rowe Price Group, ticker symbol T-R-O-W. T. Rowe Price is an American global investment firm offering funds, advisory services, and wealth management for both institutions and individuals. Now, when it comes to T. Rowe Price, they were founded back in 1937 and certainly just done an outstanding job in becoming an industry leader within the financial industry, most importantly, making its way to a big, beautiful blue chip asset manager. Now, in 2020, of course, we had a lot of new investors come about and ultimately a company like T. Rowe Price Group benefited greatly from a surge of new investors, which is all evidence as we can see in their stock share price run up throughout 2020 into present times. Now, most importantly, they have recently dipped from around $221 per share down to around $190 per share. That's about a 16% dip, but of course, analysts only foresee T. Rowe Price Group recovering and then continuing to grow. Coming in at a median stock share price of $216 per share and a high stock share price of $250 $53 per share. Now, in terms of a dividend investment, T. Rowe Price Group is certainly that safe, reliable dividend company to invest in with 35 consecutive years worth of dividend payments and increases and a current dividend yield sitting at 2.23%. Now, last but not least, the final dividend stock opportunity of the day, we have Caterpillar, ticker symbol C-A-T. Caterpillar is an American Fortune 100 company that has ultimately become the world's dominant manufacturer of construction equipment and machinery as well as engines. They were founded back in 1925, so just a very rich history. They're certainly not gonna be disappearing anytime soon, which allows me to have a lot of confidence when investing into Caterpillar. Now, most importantly in recent news, as you probably all already know, hopefully you know by watching the Blue Lion Finance Channel, is that Joe Biden recently passed that $1 trillion infrastructure bill, which allowed for Caterpillar to experience a nice little run-up, jumping to $214 per share. But I do believe all of that now became quickly old news, just given all of the market volatility. And now here we are with Caterpillar sitting at $201 per share. That's about a 6.4% opportunity now for all of us to buy Caterpillar while it's on sale. I certainly believe moving into 2022, Caterpillar is actually gonna be growing pretty quickly just considering the fact that a lot of these infrastructure projects will commence. Now, analysts have similar expectations with their median stock share price coming in at $235 per share and their high stock share price coming in at $301 per share. Now, ultimately, we can just kick back, relax on Caterpillar's dividend until it reaches those high stock share prices. Coming in at a current dividend yield of 2.18%. Now talking about reliability and consistency, Caterpillar is in fact delivering through with 27 years worth of dividend increases and dividend payments. Now YouTube, that is it. Those are the five high quality stocks that I have for you today. If you liked what you heard, you learned something new, definitely go ahead, drop those comments below. Let me know your thoughts on what you think of these companies. If you yourself are gonna get invested into them, but most importantly, make sure you do your own due diligence. I am by no means a financial advisor. And of course, before we conclude today's video, tap on that thumbs up button and help me grow this channel. And most importantly, go ahead, tap on that subscribe button while you're at it. I'd love to have you on this journey with me. Now YouTube, until the next video, I will see you all there.